So I was experiencing your engagement, full engagement in the worship. Rero numvaga uko ngene muri ko murahimbaza mutazira vy'ukuri bivuye mu mitima yanyu. And also to be here with your leaders, Pastor Mark and Pastor Christian here at Life Center. Kandi no kuba turi kumwe hano mu nabarongozi banyu Pastor Mark na Pastor Christian. God has faithfully allowed them to 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 found this church while he built his church. Imana yeme yuko ishengero ritangura ngaha kugira ngo yubake umubiri wayo. I hope you can see sometime from here how you look so beautiful and committed to the Lord Jesus. Kanzi yumu naringa hara shwa kubonu kungene musa neza. This is amazing. Ibi nikitanga za fiyuku. And you are part of the future of this city, of this country and this continent. Kanzi mwebge muri ivjizi gilo vya kazo za kiki gisagara igihugu nuyu mugabane wisi. Because you are part of Jesus church. Kubara yuko muri bangwe wa gizi shengelo rja kristo. So thank you Pastor Mark for allowing me the privilege of being in your pulpit. Lero Pastor Mark tura bashimie kuba mwadu te ite kariyo kugira ngo dushobore kuba ananamwe. I hope I'm a good steward of this time and your people. Kanzi ndizi la yuko nza kukore shaneza uyu mwanya no kugaba nubanyo. I'm particularly thankful to my brother Pastor Jean Baptiste of Alarm for giving me these four days with you. Kanzi ndashima Pastor Jean Baptiste wa Alarm ukungenya ne iteka ryo kugira ngo imisi ne tuzobane namwe muri iki gihugu. We have been friends for about 6 years. Hachimya kitandatu turabagenzi. And Alarm is one of my favorite organizations especially in Eastern Great Lakes region. Kanzi Alarm ni imwe ni shira hamwe rimwe byukuri nubaha kandi dukorana muri muri Afrika y'ubuseruko. One of my favorite Burundians is also here. Kandi ni nayo magaciro cyane muri iki gihugu. Pastor Manase who is temporarily living in Uganda is one of my best friends and allows the ministry of reach to yeah. flourish all over the world. Pastor Manase nawe numubashitsi batugendeye bari kumwe nabo nawe nyene yaramaze gihe ari mu Buganda nawe ni nchuti yanje numugenzi wanje cyane. As I was preparing for this morning stock Rero twitegurira kumva ikimana ivuga natu muri iki gitondo. I was uh, conversing with a few of you. Nandi ko ndavugana na bamwe hagati yanyu. I talked with Fabrice my my chauffeur. Na vuganye na Fabrice ari we umushoferi ari ko ramura. I talked to Solomon who is a high school student about to go to university. Nandi ko ndavugana n'undi mugenzi wacu ari mu aheje cha mashuri ya secondaire wagi ari hafi kujya muri university. I said how would Burundians describe themselves? ndababaza nti mbega abarundi bisobanura gute I heard two answers Narifise bampaye inyishu zibiri One we Burundians we like laughing Obati abarundi turakunda gutwenga cyane Is that true Ndega niko biri They say every Burundian is a comedian Ati umurundi wese arakunda gutwenza They also said we Burundians love drinking Obati kandi kindi abarundi barakunda kunywa gusomera I'm talking about alcohol, not uh, other drinks. They said many years ago we used to be divided by tribe and caste. Many years ago we were divided by tribe and clan. Uh, by now we are uh, divided by how much we drink alcohol. Says drinking is our national duty. Ro kunywa nzoga nico kintu dukora cyane mu gihugu. Said if the white man has founded a brewery it, he was very decent so that we can keep on drinking. If the white man they founded the brewery now we need to keep on drinking. That's all right. Na bantu bakunda kunywa. But more importantly Burundians love to sing and to pray. Ariko kanzi kindi nuko nabonye uko abarundi bakunda kuririmba no gusenga. And that's why we are here. Ninayo mpamvu turi nga. You're inside the church not outside. Muri mwishengero nti muri hanze. And the outside is going to match the inside when you leave today. Rero hanze baraza kuronga ivyiza runaka ige muza kuba muvuye nga. So that you don't compromise your behavior when you're outside. Rero igiye mwishushanye nabo hanze because of what Jesus is doing inside. Now that we are finished singing and praying, it is now time to be preaching and teaching. Now I know as a pastor I need to wear a jacket and tie, but I don't have I have it sitting there. 
Mumu pastor ndazi ndazi uko mwe kwa mbari koti na kravati aliko na vya nazani mfise koti kusani yu na shize haria. Tomorrow when I'm with the pastors, I will wear the pastor uniform. Eje gonzo, igenzo wandi kumwe na wa pastori, zo kwa mbara, umuambara wa pastori. But today I'm with ordinary people. Aliko na musi ndi kumwe na wa nubasanzwe. And you look just like me. Kandi mwese mweze kumwe na angu. I was once speaking in multiple churches of a la, uh, services of a large church. Uh, they told me in the first service I needed to wear jacket and tie. They said second service I can take off my tie. In the third service they said I can take off my jacket. I am glad there were no six or seven services. It would have been embarrassing for everybody. <laughs> so will you accept me just like this? All right. If you have a Bible available, whether it is hard copy or soft copy, would you open to the real Lord's Prayer? This is the real Lord's Prayer. This is a prayer that the Lord Jesus actually prayed. There is another prayer we call the Lord's Prayer which he taught his disciples to pray. That is a prayer that the Lord Jesus himself would not be able to pray. Because the, he said, forgive us our sins even as we forgive those who sin against us. That's the prayer the Lord Jesus taught his disciples. But if you turn with me to John chapter 17, this is a prayer that the Lord Jesus himself prayed. I would like to make verse 4 the launch point for this morning's talk. I would like you to read verse 4 aloud with me. Let's, let's read verse 4 aloud together. Amen. Father, I have glorified you on the earth. Data nagushe magije mwisi. Having accomplished what you gave me to do. Nara nono so chai nara sozere nezi gikogo wa mae gukora. I have accomplished the work you gave me to do. Ndu wa shiki je nezi gikogo wa mae gukora. That is my desire for everybody here starting with me. Iki nicho chifu zo chanja kumunu wese alikume nanja murikina gitongo. At the end of my life. I will say, Father, I've glorified you on the earth. Having accomplished what you gave me to do. This morning, I speak about how you can accomplish the work God has given you to do. In two chapters later, in the death cry that the Lord Jesus cried, he says, it is finished. I want you at your last breath to be able to say, it is finished, the work you gave me to do. In Acts chapter 20, the Apostle Paul says, I want to finish the course that he has set for me. In the very end of his life, he said, I have fought the fight. I have finished the course. 
urugendo. All of you know your birth date. Mese murazi ryari mwavutse. None of us knows our death date. Na nume azi ryara zopfa. But there is going to come a day when we are finished with life. Ariko hari umusu zoshika aho tuzoba dueje tuvuzima bwacu hano mwese. But I want you to be able to say I was also finished with God's work. Ariko kandi ndashaka yuko kwiherezo ry'ubuzima bwa uwo munsi uzuvuga kuti naraheraheje na chagi ko gw'Imana yampaye gukora. That he gave me to do. Chaki ndi Imana yampaye gukora. Not what he gave back the Christian to do. Apanicho yahaye Richard gukora. So no, he is not going to be doing what I'm doing. Kubera yuko we atazokora ivyo jewe ngiye gukora. Everyone is unique in God's plan. Umwe wese ari sangije ukuba kwiwe. Everyone is specific and strategic in God's plan. Umwe wese ni original mu mugambi w'Imana. Because everyone is precious in God's sight. Kubera yuko umwe wese ni wagaciro mu maso y'Imana. I want you to say I am precious in God's sight. Ishaka yuko uvuga ati ndu wagaciro mu maso y'Imana. Subiramo ati ndu wagaciro mu maso y'Imana. And I am strategic in God's sight. Kandi ndi akabirya mu mugambi w'Imana. Ndakwinginze vuga ndakabirya mu mugambi w'Imana. Precious and strategic. Ndi wagaciro kandi ndi Both are important. Akabirya vyose bibiri ni vyagaciro. Some people only want to use you. But they don't want to bless you. Ariko ni bazoshaka kuguheza. Other people want to bless you. Ariko haro abandi bazoshaka kuguheza. But they don't want anything from you. Ariko atacho bagukeneye ko. And God says I want to bless you. Ariko imana vati ndashaka kuguheza. And I want to use you. Ariko kandi ndashaka no kugukoresha. This morning I speak on finishing your life's work. Muri kino gitondo ndashaka kuvuga kubyerekeye guheraheza neza. I open with a story. Of an expert who was talking about time management to business executives. Hariho umuhinga yari akora kuvugana nabantu ariko arabigisha kuvyerekera kungere bakwiye gutunganya neza umwanya wabo. He brought a large jar and put it with big rocks inside. Azana ijage nini ashiramo ibibuye indani. And he said is the jar full? These leaders said yes. He said, he said no. He got some small stones and put them on the large jar. And he said it's the jar full. And they said yes. He said no. He got some sand from the beach and put it on top of the small stones on top of the big rocks. And, and he asked, is the jar full? They said yes. He said not quite. So he got some water and put it on the sand on top of the small stones on top of the big rocks. And he said, what is the point of the story? And one young eager businessman got up and said, It means, sir, that however busy your life is, you can always find time to squeeze in more things. And the professor said, not at all. Here is the point of the story. Unless you put the big rocks in first, it is difficult to put them in later. Unless you put the big rocks in first, it is difficult to put them in later. So my brothers and sisters, here this morning at Life Center, I'm going to give you three big rocks for your life. These three big rocks are the most important pieces of your entire life for the rest of your life. This is so that you can finish well God's work that is given for you to do. And all three of them must be simultaneously first. All those three rocks occupy all of you all the time. Let me give you a word. 
Reka ndaguye jambo. A question around the word. Ni kibazo kiri musi jo jambo. And then a resolution of that word for direction. Hamwe ni nyishu yicho kibazo. Unless you put the big rocks in first. Keretse gusa ushize mu vyo bibiye bini. It is difficult to put them in later. Ni bishoboka yuko bishira mu munywa ngo vyinjire. Big rock number 1. Uh, it's is the word passion. Ni jambo rivuga passion, ni jambo rivuga ishaka cyane ikintu ukunda. This word passion is used in many ways in every language. Iri jambo ryishaka rirakoreshwa mu buryo bwinshi butandukanye bivanye n'indimi. People say I have a passion for soccer. Ahora vatse ngo ndafise ndafise ishaka cyane ndakunda umupira wa magu. I have a passion for music. Aho ndavatse ndakunda umuziki. I have a passion for food. Abana bavati ndakunda kurya. I have a passion for friendships. Abana bavati ndakunda kugira nubugenzi. They use the word passion to exhibit whatever you they really excited about. Bakoreshe ibyo jambo yishaka cyangwa ngo berekana ikintu kibaryohera kurusha ikindi. But that is not the original meaning of the word passion. Ariko siyo sobanuro yayo yumuzi. It comes from a Latin root. Ni jambo riva mu kiratini which says what do you love so much that you're willing to suffer for it. Bisobanura ngo ikintu kunda kurusha ibindi vyose nico uzo kwitangira ukemera no kubabazwa kugaza. What are you committed to so much that you're willing to suffer for it? Ikintu ukunda kurusha ibindi urashobora no kwemera kukibabarizwa. That's why the last week of the Lord Jesus life is called the passion week. Niyo mpamvu indwi ya nyuma y'ubuzima bwa Yesu yitwa indwi yesha cyangwa y'imibabaro cyangwa y'urukundo rwa Yesu. You think Jesus was excited about going to the cross? Mwibaza yuko Yesu yararyoherewe kujya ku musaraba. No, he was going to go to the worst experience. Kubera oya, kubera yuko yaragiye guca mu bihe bibi bikomeye mu buzima. Because he loved you and me so much. Ariko yemeye kubicamo kuko je bona wa dukunda. Because he had a passion for you. Kubera yuko hari urukundo dukunda. He said I will go to the cross. Ya uzatsingiye ku musaraba. I suffer whatever it takes. Zo kwemera kubabazwa uko bishobora. In order to rescue you. Kugira ngo shobore kugucunga. In order to intervene in your life. Kugira ngo shobore kugira ico zanye mu buzima. Kugira ngo ndagupere. Kugira ngo ndagutunganye kugwa ubuzima bwawe ukuya kubamo. That's the first big rock. Uri ni byo buye rya mbere. If you have a Bible turn with me to the book of Mark. Nimbo ufise bibiliya araba mu gitabo cha Mariko. Mark chapter 12. Mariko igice cha 12. Verse 29 to 31. Mark chapter 12. Mariko igice cha 29 to 31. If you don't open in your Bibles, I am going to assume that you already know these verses by heart. So you better use your Bibles when you're working with me, okay? But please be sure to put your smartphones in airplane mode. Oh kandi ndagusabye yuko nimba wowe ukurakoresha telefone imbu ukuraraba muri telefone yawe So you're not messaging anybody. Wishire muri ya mode ya airplane kugira ngo nube connecte muri uyu. All right, Mark chapter 12. Mariko igice cha 12. A lawyer comes to the Lord Jesus and says, what is the first of all commandments? Haza umu umuntu w'amategeko aramubaza abaza Yesu ati nirihe tegeko cyangwa niki cyagezwe gisumba ibindi? And verse 29 the Lord Jesus answers He says the foremost is this. Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord. And you shall love the Lord your God. With all your heart. And with all your soul. And with all your mind. And with all your strength. Verse 31, the second is the overflow of the first. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. This is a passion question being answered. He says with all your, with all your, with all your, with all your, with all your four times. Because I am very slow to learn. I'm also, I'm also slower to apply. I'm slow to understand. 
biratugora gutahura bukwi na bukwi and i'm slower to obey rero bigaca binya tugora kubaha passion is your love for me yes you are vuze ngo iyo passion iyo shaka ari kuya kubura ukundo gwawe kuri jewe this is where people ask me this question aha niyo abantu bambaza iki kibazo shouldn't you have a passion for football mbega nkwiye gukunda umupira w'amaguru can't you have passion for music mbega nkwiye gukunda umuziki we should have passion for our families mbega dukwiye gukunda imiryango yacu of course you need to have passion for those things ego me ukwiye gukunda ivyo bintu nacu but i want to make an illustration and a principle for you to take home ari konshaka ngwa karorero nshireho ningingo ngende gwa kwa please remember this very very deeply for the rest of your life ndakwinginze kugira ngo ibi bintu uze wamuvyibuka mu buzima bwa gose first an illustration akaroro ka mbere How many of you are married? Ni banga hagati yanyu mwubatse. Some of you are very slow to put up your hands. Ba mwe muri murateba cyane kuduza ibiganza vyanyu. Okay, how many of you are married? Ni banga hagati yanyu mwubatse hagati yanyu muri nga. When you are married you know this reality. Nimba wubatse ukukuri urakuze. When things are going well with your spouse. Nimba bimeze neza no mudamu wawe. Wo cyangwa wo mubakanye. Everything else is a little easier. Nibindi vyose bicavyoroha. When things are not going well with your spouse. Iyo bitameze neza hagati yanyu no mubakanye. Everything has a cloud hanging over. Nibi ndivyose bica bigenda nabi. Do you understand what I'm saying? Muratahura ivyo ndiko ndavuga. Do you agree with what I'm saying? Muremeranya nanje muvyo mvuze. Okay, I originally come from India. Jewe mva mu gihugu cy'ubuhinde niho wacu. I know you have some relationships with Indians. Ndazi uko hari imigenderanye runaka mugirana n'abantu. India we say yes like this and no like this, okay? Mu buhindi bavuga yes how? yes like this and no like this bavuga ego gutya oya gutya uh, some parts of india you say yes and no like this and confuse everybody aroba indi bavuga beme bagacha bavuga gutya no bavuga bica bizasana abagose when things are going well with your spouse iyo bimeze neza no mubakanye everything else is easier usanga vyose bigenda neza when things are not going well with your spouse igiye bitameze neza wo no mubakanye everything else is harder nibindi vyose bica bikomera Yes or no? Niko change siko. It's the same way with the Lord Jesus. Uko niko bimeze no kumwami Yesu. When you love the Lord Jesus rightly. Nimba ukunda umwami Yesu vyo. You can love your wife rightly. Uzokunda umugore wawe neza. You can love your kids rightly. Uzokunda abana bawe neza. You can love your work rightly. Uzokunda igikogwa cyawe neza. You can neza. love your music rightly. Uzokunda imikogwe neza. You can love your neza. football rightly. Uzokunda numupira w'amaguru neza. But when you do not love the Lord Jesus rightly. Ariko nimba udakunda umwami wa Yesu neza. Everything else will get kubera yuko urukundo rw'umwami Yesu Kristo nigo rutuma ibintu byose bifata umurongo nyawo are you with me turi kumwe passion answers the question what have you set your heart upon Ishaka cyangwa ugo rukundo nirwo gwerekana ikintu umutima wawe umatanye nacu What have you set your heart upon Nigiki umutima wawe umatanye nacu Whatever you set your heart upon controls you Ikintu cyose ushize ku mutima wawe nico kikuganza You love money money will control you Ni wakunda amafaranga amafaranga azokuganza You power, power you. Ni wakunda icyubahero n'ubushobozi bizokuganza You love sex, sex Ni wakunda gusambana bizokuganza You love Jesus Jesus Ni wakunda Yesu Yesu azokuganza Whoever you love Uwo ukunda wese Whatever you love Cyangwa icyo ukunda cyose So you've got to decide Icyo ushize ku mutima wawe What have you set your heart upon Icho ushize ku mutima wawe. I'm going to give you homework. Reka ndabahe rero igikogwa mukwiye gukora. This is very serious homework. Iki ni gikogwa mukwiye gukora kandi mugikore koko. Maybe you can do this homework for the rest of this week of August. Kumbure muri yendwi ihereza uku kwezi ku munani ukwiye gukora iki kibazo. I know preachers normally don't give homework. Ndazi uko bavuga butumwa badatanga ibikogwa abantu bakwiye gukora. I want you to take a sheet of paper. Shaka yuko ufata urupapuro and then I want you to draw a picture of your heart. Shaka yuko uchapa ku rugo rupapuro umutima wawe igicapo cyo umutima wawe. A picture of your heart. Igicapo cyo umutima wawe. And then I want you to put a question mark inside your heart. Hama muri uwo mutima muri cyo gicapo ushira ko kabaza ikimenyeso cha kabaza. And you're allowed only one object. 
ukaba wemerewe intumbero imwe gusa not two objects apana intumbero zibiri only one imwe gusa you know what the answer is inyeshu rayizi the answer is the lord jesus inyeshu urazi ukwari yesu you shall love the lord your god with all your heart mind soul and strength ukundeshu ara imana yawe numutima wawe wose but you know what ari kurazi there are a lot of competition going on for the love of the lord jesus in my heart mumitima yacu hariyo ihiganwa ry'ibintu vyinshi n'umwami yesu my family competes with the love of jesus ugasanga umuryango wanje uri kuri ahiganwa n'urukundo nkunda yesu my work competes with the love of jesus ugasanga kazi nkora akari ko karahiganwa n'umwami yesu and for all those of you in christian ministry your ministry can compete with the love of the lord jesus in your muri mu gikogwa cimana ugasanga igikogwa uri kurakorera imana kiriko kirahiganwa n'urukundo kunda yesu if you love jesus rightly ni wakunda yesu vyukuri you can love all the other things rightly ni bindi vyose uzo bikunda neza if you love jesus wrongly ni wakunda yesu ukutariko you will love everything else wrongly ni bindi vyose uzo sanga wabikunze so don't be afraid of loving jesus rero nugira kibazo cyo gukunda yesu don't be hesitant in loving jesus nukekeranye mu gukunda yesu don't run away from loving jesus nuhunge gukunda yesu because he is the resource kuko ni he is the focus so he is the energy ni we nomezi he is the direction to love everything else rightly ni we Chitegeshe numbero you will love Jesus rightly. Ni wakunda Yesu vyukuri neza. You will love everything else rightly. Ni bindi vyose uzo bikunda neza. You love him wrongly. Ni wamukunda ukutariko. You will mess up everything else in life. Ni bindi vyose uzo sanga wabihushije mu buzima. Here's a resolution. Iyi nyo nyishu rero. Passion is to make Jesus your first love. Ya ugo ukunda cyangwa ibyo shaka ari kuye gutuma Yesu aba wo ukunda mbere y'ikindi kintu. Chose. One of the big internal challenges churches face. Ya ikinu kinini cyangwa ikaburo rinini cyangwa riko rahura naryo is that both pastors and people are filled with temptations outside. Nuko uravye ari aba pastori nabanyeshengero bose bariko barakwegwa nibiriko biraba hanze. When they are in church everybody is really engaged in the music. Bo ige bari mu ishengero bose ubona yuko batemba mu ruzi rumwe go guhimbaza no gutazira Everybody knows how to say hallelujah at the right time. Umwe wese arazi ge akwiye kuvugira haleluya. Everybody knows how to give offering at the correct amount. Umwe wese arazi ukungira akwiye gutanga ishikano ryiwe neza. But once they leave the church. Ari kwigiye bavuye mu ishengero. As they go into the problems of circumstance. Igiye bagiye hanze bagahura na vya bibazo bitsanzwe mu buzima as they go into the demands of the family igiye bagiye hanze bagahura n'ivyo imiryango yabikeneye as they go into the pressures of society igiye bagiye hanze bagahura n'ivyo mwisi bahura n'ivyo bikabagora other values begin to overtake us ugasanga muri bo haje ibindi bintu bahagaci ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters bene data bakundwa If you love Jesus rightly, ni wakunda Yesu neza. You can love all the other things rightly. Ni bindi vyose uzo bikunda neza. If you Jesus wrongly, love Jesus wrongly. Ariko nuta kunda Yesu neza. Everything else will be messed. Ni bindi vyose uzo sanga bidafise. I want you to do this homework. Umurongo mwiza. Ishaka yuko ukora kino kikogwa. The question mark inside your heart. Ushiri kibazo mu mutima wawe. Do I love sin more than I love Jesus? Mbega ngunda icaha cyane ngunda Yesu. Do I lead love selfishness more than I love Jesus? Mbega ndikunda cyane nkunda Yesu. Do I love money more than I love Jesus? Mbega ndakunda amafaranga kurusha uko nkunda Yesu. You can have money but you don't love money. Urashobora kugira amafaranga ari kudakunda amafaranga. Your love for your family is secondary to your love for Jesus. Urukundo ukunda umuryango wawe ruza inyuma y'urukundo kwe gukunda Yesu Because if you love Jesus rightly Kubera yuko igi ukunze Yesu mu byo byiza husband rightly Niho ushwa gukunda Yesu mu gabo wawe Nico gi ushwa gukunda Yesu mu gabo wawe Nico gi ushwa gukunda Nico gi ushwa gukunda abavyeyi bawe neza But if you don't love Jesus rightly Ariko nimba udakunda Yesu mu byo byiza Everything else will be messed up Nibi ndi vyose uzo sanga wabihushije Passion is to make Jesus your first love Iryo shaka ari kuye ryo gutuma Yesu abu wa mbere mu rukundo urukundo rwambere rube kuri Yesu Unless you put the big rocks in it's difficult to put them in later Keretse gusa iryo buye rinini ryinjye ubwambere nibikunda yuko urishira mu munyuma washize mu ibindi bintu Big rock one is what Uru ibuye rya mbere rinini niki Passion Eh iryo shaka To make Jesus first love 
Yesu akuye kuba uwo dukunda mbere y'ibindi vyose. All right, let's go to big rock number 2. Reka turabe ikindi kibuye cha kabiri kinini. Irindi buye rya kabiri rinini. It's the word mission. Ni jambo rivuga igikogwa. Passion answers a question, what have you set your heart upon? Mission asks the question, why do you do what you do? You get up in the morning, uh, you brush your teeth, you look in the mirror, and you try to catch the newspaper, or watch the television news. You drink a tea, cup of tea or coffee. And then you go to your, your life work. And then you drink another cup of tea maybe. You do some work, make some decisions. And after lunch you have another cup of tea or coffee. In the afternoon you try to take a nap while at work. And you come back home. You meet some friends. Have a cup of tea. You laugh a little bit. And the night you retire for the night. The next morning you get up. And you brush your teeth and look at the mirror. You know what? The unbeliever does the same things every day too. He gets up in the morning and brushes his teeth and looks in the mirror. Now what's the difference between you and an unbeliever? You're not brushing your teeth. In fact, unbelievers, they brush their teeth better than Christians brush their teeth. What is the difference between the believer and the unbeliever? It's the mission not just what you do, but why you do what you do. Are you following me? Hello? Okay. Now, there is a very large country next to India called Bangladesh. Have you heard of Bangladesh? Now, Bangladesh is much poorer than India. Bangladesh is much poorer than India. They have to import almost everything from India. Bangladesh is a Muslim country, India is a Hindu country. But India is the second largest Muslim country in the world. Between India and Bangladesh is the border, which is very easy to cross. So there's a little boy, Muhammad. Twelve-year-old boy who on his bicycle, on his cycle, he put a bag of rice and crossed the border. Every day, Muhammad, twelve years old, Muhammad, twelve years old, uh, put a bag of rice on his handlebar of his cycle and cross the border from India to Bangladesh. Now, Bangladesh border security was watching young Muhammad every day. They knew that he was bringing something very, very costly from India to Bangladesh. They wondered if he was smuggling gold from India to Bangladesh. They wondered if he was smuggling drugs from India to Bangladesh. So the border security officer stopped Muhammad one day. And he opened the bag and checked it all. It was just rice. So the next day, again, Muhammad coming with the rice bag on his cycle. They stopped him and they checked only rice. 
the border security officer was very frustrated. Rero ujaji kwa mpaka arazaza ni gwa na babai. So he said to Muhammad Acha gira Muhammad We know you are smuggling something very precious every day from India to Bangladesh. Turazi huko urikura inji zikinu kivya mu buhindi cha gaciro But every time Bangladesh. we stop you it is only rice in your bag. Ariko igiye chose tugogaritse dusangara umuceri. What are you smuggling? Be ni giki urikuri injiza. If you tell us what you are smuggling we will never stop you again. Ati ni watugira neza ico kintu winjiza cyangwa ubwenge ukoresha nituzokwigira tukugora and mohammed said to the officer ani mohammed abgira wo ajejwe mpaka sir every day abati nyakubawa i'm smuggling a new cycle a new bicycle from india to bangladesh na maninjiza ikinga rishasha ndari kuye mu buhindi ndari jana muri bangladesh the security officer was only looking at the rice baba ndi bajejwe mpaka bo barabaga gusumukeri But Muhammad had a deeper purpose. Ariko Muhammad we are afi sindi numbero ikomeye. Just like believers. Nabi nabi zera. We have a deeper mission every day than just smuggling rice. Turafise igikogwa gikome do amagara gukora imisi yose. You got to decide. Please come again. You've got to decide. Ukwiye guhitamo. Bicycles or rice? Guitamo ikinga changu muche. On the outside we are doing the same things like unbelievers do. Hanze dukora vya bindi nyena batizera bakora. But our mission is deeper. Ari kwigikogo duhamagara gukora ni chibina. Why do you do what you do? Mbega kuberiki ukora ivyo ukora. Turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Reka turabire hamwe mu cyeto cha mbere Paulo yanditse abi Corinthians gice cha 10. I know you already have Bibles. Ndazi uko mwese mwamaze kurunka Bibiliya zanyu, mwamaze kuko Bibiliya zanyu. Don't go to your Bibles, it means you already know these by heart. Nimba utegurie Bibiliya yawe bisobanura yuko uyu murongo uwuzi kumutwe. I will read uh, verse 31. Turasoma umurongo wa 31. Whether then you eat or drink tea or coffee, nuko iyo murya cyangwa munywa icyayi cyangwa ikawa Whatever you do, ichukora chose. Whatever you do, ichukora chose. You do to what? Ugikore kuberiki. The glory of God. Ugikore kuvyogu kugogu shimi. Whatever you do, ichukora chose. In your work for the glory of God. Kukazika we kugichwa. In your relationships for the glory of God. Mumigenda na nufita ni nabanzi kugichwa rochima. In your decisions for the glory of God. Mungingo ufata muzima kugichwa rochima. In your preferences for the glory of God. Muvyo kore sha ubugyo gawe. In your prejudices, hopefully even there for the glory of God. If you kora vyo sari ya hanza kugichwa rochima. In your behavior for the glory of God. Muni fato no munge sozawe bila kugichwa rochima. Or I like to say to make Jesus look great. Nshaka gukoresha iri jambo ngo ukore ibishoboka vyose kugwa ngo Yesu aboneke yuko ari umuhanga. Your mission is to make Jesus look great. Igikogwa uhamagarigwa nuko Yesu aboneke yuko ari umuhanga. Your mission is not to make Jesus look small. Igikogwa uhamagarigwa sugutuma Yesu aboneke yuko ari umuhanga. Your mission is not to make Jesus look big. Igi kogwa cyawe ntabwo ari gutuma Yesu aboneka yuko akomeye gusa. Yesu make Jesus look great. Ariko no gutuma Yesu aboneka yuko ari uhamba. The one who said all authority is given to me in heaven and earth. Won't you have that go? The one who is your mission. Ubasha bwose mu ijuru no mu isi narabuhawe. Icyo nico gikogwa uhamagariwe. I want you to make some decisions this morning. Nshaka yuko muri kino gitondo ufata ingingo. Because the word glory Kubera yuko ijambo icuba In the Old Testament actually refer to weight physical weight in pounds and kilograms Mwisezano rya kera ibyo jambo icubahiro cyari gihagaze ku kuburemere cyangwa ku kubiro umuntu afise In the Old Testament the rich people were heavy because they had much more food Aba mwisezano rya kera abantu bari batuze cyane babonekaga yuko ari bo banyacubahiro kuko bari bafise ibyo kurya bikwiye So the heavier they were people knew that they had resources Rero uko bavyibuha cyane bisobanura yuko good food and rich food bashoboraga kurya ivyo kurya vyiza baka bakarya kanzi byinshi bashaka The Old Testament takes that physical concept and makes it a spiritual symbol Mwisezerano rishasha 
bafata ako karoko mu sezano rya kera byo mu bibi bakarizana mu byo gimpemu that god is the heavyweight of the world nuko imana ari we buremere umuntu afise ibiro vyinshi umuntu afise god is not a lightweight Imana ntabwo ari biro bisanzwe. God is not a middleweight. Imana ntabwo ari biro. God is not a heavyweight. He's the only heavyweight in the world. Imana ntabwo ari biro vyinshi nk'ibindi byose. Imana nivyo biro birenze ibindi byose byari. And the more weight he has in your life, the more great he looks through your life. Kandi uremere imani fise mu buzima bwawe nibwo buremere imani zogaragaza bicyo. Let me repeat it again. The more weight God has in your life the more great he looks through you uburemere imani fise mu buzima bwawe nigo buremere imani zo garagaza bicye mu buzima bwawe let me ask you is god in your life a lightweight or a heavyweight no ikini kibazo mbega imana mu buzima bwawe iroroheje ifise ibire mu buremere buke yacanye iraremereye cyane ku kintu cyose only you can answer that ni wowe nye nushobora kwishura icyo kibazo i can't answer that for you jewe sinshobora kwishura icyo kibazo sometimes god in my life is a lightweight hari igiye usanga mu buzima bwanje imana ifise ibiro bikeya when i shy away from being public with him i'm a uh, god is a lightweight igihe ne we sony no guwagarana ni imana hanze mu buzima busanzwe when i don't take opportunities to share the gospel that means god is a lightweight igihe nafasha karyo imana yampaye ko gusangiza abandi ubutuma bwiza imana ibitakaje biro vyayo mu buzima when i choose bad behavior at that point God is a lightweight not a heavyweight. Igiye mu buryo bumwe cyangwa ubundi nahisemo kugira ingeso zitari nziza imana ibitakaje ibiro ifise mu buzima bwanje. So I'm going to give you homework. Ngira kandi nsubire kuguha ikindi gikogo. You're saying Pastor Mark why are you bringing guest speakers who give homework? Muraza kuva ati Pastor Mark mbega kubera iki wazanye umushitsi aduha ibikogo byo gukora n'ikosha mu. Please do not bring preachers who bring homework. Muzo subira kutuzanira bavuga butumwa baduha ibikogo byo gukora. Uh, Pastor Mark you do not have to have me again okay Na kiroso Pastor Mark nikindi nikindi gani muze muntumire But whether I come back again or not I want you to do homework Ariko mumenye yuko igya zo subira kuntumira nkagaruka zo bakanze ibikorwa mukore Is that okay Murabishimye The first homework was the heart with the question right Murazi yuko ikibazo cyambere cyangwa ikogwa cyambere nuko ukwe gucapa umutima ushira mu kibazo I want you to take another sheet of paper Shaka yuko za gufata urundi rupapuro. And I want you to draw two lines from the top to the bottom. Shaka yuko ucha uchapa imirongo ibiri uhereye hejuru kurwo rupapuro gashaka. That makes for three columns. Biza kuguha amakolone atatu. On the top of the left say personal. Aha ma kuri kolone ya mbere uza kuandika jewe ku giti cyanje. On the second say family. Hanyuma kuri kolone ya kabiri wandike ko umuryango. On the third say work. Kuri kolone ya gatatu cyo andika ko akazi If you're a student you'll say st- uh, school or university Nimba uri munyashuri andika ko uh, ishuri If you're a pastor Amashuri. If you're a pastor you'll say ministry and so on Nimba uri mupastori andika ko igikogwa imana yampaye gukora But for you personal Ari... family work Ariko kuri wewe wisanze ukora andika jewe ku giti cyanje umuryango nakazi nkora Are you following me Muriko murankurikira Okay I love the people at the back who are waving to me Ah ndakunda igiye abantu bari hari inyuma bariko bara Okay. That means they are not sleeping at the back. Kuko kenshi nasanze yuko abantu binyuma bakunda gusinzira. Personal. Jewe ku giti cyanje will be relationship to God. Ni imigenderanire hagati yanje n'Imana. Your devotional life. Ukungene wishikana imbere y'Imana. It may have to do with your attitudes. Ivyo bishako bivana n'inyifatu fise. For example, matter of anger and bitterness. Tabi shokwari ishavu cyangwa umururazi it may have to do with your exercise and eating habits bishokuba ari kungene witoza wimenyereza mu amasport cyangwa ukungene urya it may have to do with your sexuality cyangwa bishokwa bivana n'imigenderanire muza bitsinugirana are you faithful to your spouse mbega urumwizi gigwa kuba mu bakanye and young people are you faithful to your future spouse mbega wewe kuri wewe utarubaka mbega urumwizi gigwa kuba muzo kubakana muri kazoza and the second one would be family wa kuri kolone ya kabiri your relationship with your husband or wife oh wimigendera no fitanye no mu bakanye your kids abana ba your extended family no muryango wawe wagutse abavyeyi ba even the people of god ndetse nabandi bantu b'Imana muri third one will be the area of your work hama icanyuma ni ahantu ukorera your behavior inyifa tufitse imbere y'abantu mukora your relationships with colleagues imigendera imigendera nire ufitanye nabo mukora are you serving them mbega uri kura bakorera now i want you to take one issue under each of these three ishakarero yuko ufata 
kimwe muri ibi bitatu where god is a lightweight aho imana ifise ibiro bikeya mu buzima bwa how can i muri zo domains tatu how can i increase his weight uce wandika ati ni gute uburemere bw'imana ubushiza kuba bwinshi mu buzima bwanje muri iyi domaine one personal issue ivya mbere ni jewe ku giti cyanje one family issue icyakabiri ni mu muryango wanje and one work school related issue icyagata tuni ivyakazi cyane mu mashuri and then i want you to plan how can i increase god's weight hama in my personal life ugerageza kwiyumvira ati ni gute uburemere bw'Imana mu buzima bwanje bwo gushira how can i increase god's weight in my family life ni gute uburemere bw'Imana bwo gwira mu buzima bwanje bivanye n'imigira y'imfitanye n'umuryango how can i increase god's weight in my work life ni gute uburemere bw'Imana bwo babwinshi mu kazi nkora your choir this morning was absolutely incredible oh abari rimvi vyukuri baduheza gye cyane I did not understand most of what they were singing. Sinashoboye gutahura byinshi mu vyo baririmbye. I only know three Kirundi words. Ndazi amajambo atatu gusa y'ikirundi. One is hallelujah. Ya mbere ni hallelujah. Second is amen. Ya kabiri ni amina. Third is fanta. Ya gatatu ni fanta. Okay. <laughs> But they have about uh, six or ten mics microphones at the back. Ariko bari bafise ama microphone ashaka kuri atanze gora ku 10 But there's a person who's sitting at a mixer board Ariko hari hari ho umuntu yarabahagaza imbere Where is your mixer board at the back Ah ya muri mixer hari hari inyuma adufasha He's sitting at the mixer board and saying which microphone needs to go up Uri ari kuri mixer ni we agerageza kumviriza amajwi afata imbega niri hejwi nkwiye kutuza Which microphone needs to come down Niri hejwi nkuye kumanura. And he's controlling the quality of the sound for the whole audience. Akagerageza gutunganya neza amajwi kugira ngo abantu bose bashobore gukurikira neza. Same way. Uko niko biri kose. Your heart is your affection to the Lord. Umutima wawe ni mbukunda Imana cyane. I love your theme for 2017 attachment to Jesus. Nakunze iri ateme y'uyu mwaka bavati kuzirikirwa kuri Yesu. But your mind is like a mixer board. Ariko rero ubwenge bwawe ni nka mixer. Says where does Jesus have to gain volume and weight? Aho uvuga ati mbega ni hehe Yesu akwiye gufata ikibanza kinini mu buzima bwa. Where should he reduce and weight? Ni hehe mwiye kugabanya ibiro vyanje mu buzima bwanje. What is competing with him as heavyweight in my life? Ni giki kiriko kirahiganwa no gufatsa uburemere bwinshi mu buzima bwa. Where should he gain in weight? Ni hehe mwiye kugabanya kugira ngo nduze uburemere bwa Yesu mu buzima. Because the more weight he has in your life. Kubera yuko uko arushiriza kuremera mu buzima bwa. The more great he looks through your life. Niko azoboneka yuko ari uhambaye kurusha abandi bose mu buzima bwa nje hari yahanze. Mission is to make Jesus look great. Igikogwa duhamagarirwa nuko Yesu aboneka yuko ari wahambaye kurusha abandi bose mwisi. Hallelujah. Amen hallelujah I know those words in Kirundi. Ayome ayoma shambo na maza kuyamenya mu Kirundi. Unless you put the big rocks in first. Keretse gusa ushiza amabuye manini manini mu buzima bwawe bere. It's difficult to put them in later. Nibishoboka yuko uyashiramo mu nyuma. First big rock is what? Iwe jambere twabonye nirihe? Passion. Passion is to make Jesus first love. Nuko Yesu akwiye kuba ari we dukunda n'imitima yacu yose imitima yacu yose. Second big rock is what? Iwe ya kabiri ni mission igikogwa it is to make jesus look great yes akwe kuboneka yuko ari wahambaye kurusha ikindi kintu cyose do you know that as i stand here this morning urazi ahampagaze imbere yanyu muri kino gitondo i need to be careful muye kuba maso not to steal his greatness sinibe kucubahiro ciwe not to touch his glory sinore kucubahiro ciwe and even by saying that it is possible for me to steal his glory naho mvuze aya majambo birashoboka cyane birashoboka kunyorera kwibicubahiro but when i speak ari kwigiye mvuze i am an instrument to his glory ndazi uko ndigi ndigi koresho cicubahiro ciwe i want you to walk out this morning saying not a good speech but what a great god Sinshaka yuko uza kuvanga uvuga ngo mbege imvuzi ya imvuzi nziza ugende uvuga ati not only what i learned today but what i learned about god 
Hapana ngo hivyo niza gusulwa msimbe ariko hivyo namenye kuvyerekaya imana. Third big rock. Ibuye rya gatatu rinini. Is the word vision. Ni yerekwa. You almost guessed it. Ah, ibi kanshi maze kuvyumva. As you know the word vision is a optical word. Ah, ijambo yerekwa riyagaze kumbono. What do you see? Where are you going? Ni giki ubona mbega uri kura jahe? What difference is it going to make are you going to make in the world? Niri hetandukaniro ugiye kuzana cha impindu kugiye kuzana mwese. I know there are a lot of young people here in Burundi is filled with them. Ndazi uko abarundi benshi bakiri batoya muzuranye yerekwa. It is easy to lose hope. Birashoboka yuko biroroshye. Because you don't have opportunities you feel like. Atakaza ivyizwe kukume ngo nta turyo twinshi duhaye. The jobs are not available. Are the jobs are not available. Nabuzi buhari. You are barely barely living from day to day. Muriko muragwana kugira ngo murongi kibabesha umusi kumusi. But you know what? Ari kurazikin. You're not like the animals who don't have vision. Mwege ni meze ngibikoko bidafisi yerekwa. You're not like unbelievers who can only have a selfish vision. Mwege ni mumeze ngabatizera bafise yerekwa ryo kwikunda bo bwa. You can have a vision that is so incredible that it controls all of reality. Murashobora kugira iyerekwa rikomeye rishobora kuganza ibihe bitandukanye mu cyamwe. Every other vision is going to be a false vision. I ayandi mayerekwa yose siyo. Every other vision is a fake vision. I ayandi mayerekwa yose ntabwo ari nyayo. A friend of mine and three others four got together when they were 35 years of age. A friend and his three friends. Umugenzi wanje ari kumwe nabandi bagenzi biwe. And they asked this question. Babaje iki kibazo. If we had all the money in the world, what would we set out to do? Timbega nitwaronka amafaranga yose yo mwisi ni giki twokora. They met 40 years later when they were 75 years of age. Oh, bari bafise imyaka 33 nitani ge bahura. The same four men. Abo bagabo nyene bane And they said we have all the money in the world but we still do not know what to do. Basubye guhura nyuma imyaka myesheze bavati ubutwaronse y'amafaranga nyo ni sifise ariko ntituzi ico dukwiye gukora. You need to have a vision that is larger than you. Bene data bakundwa dukagira vision that is Longer than you, deeper than you, bigger than you. Iyerekwa rishika kure cyane rikure. He wants you to join his vision. Dukuye kwifatanya n'iyerekwa ryiwe. And where is his vision found? Mbega iyerekwa ryiwe turisangahe. Turn with me to the book of Revelation. Reka turabe mu gitabo cy'ibyishuro yo. Revelation chapter 7. Ivyishuro yo hano gice cyindwi. One of the many places where God's vision is found. Aha nu tubona iyerekwa ry'Imana rigaragara. Verse 9. Umurongo w'icenda. Revelation 7:9. Uh, the Apostle John says after these things I look there's a vision word uh, and, be, and behold a great multitude not a small number of people but many many people a great multitude which no one could count from every nation and every tribe and every people and every tongue standing before the throne before the Lamb that clothed in white robes and they wave palm branches in their hands and they cry out with a loud voice saying salvation to our God the God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb that my friend, my brother, my sister is the vision Mene data mukundwa iri nijo yarekwa. Calls you to play your small part, my small part in that grand vision. Ibi rero bigaca bituma jewe nabo bakunyaje cyo gukora muri yarekwa rinini. To his vision. Kugira ngo twifatanye ni yarekwa ryi. So that every school desk becomes a platform of witness. Kubera yuko ahantu hose hari umwiza, kaba karyo ko kugaragaza icubayo y'ubwiza bw'Imana becomes an opportunity to share. Every office tea is a part of being participating in God's vision. Every relationship that you have is so that every tribe, tongue and nation can be before him. Every office tea is a part of being 
In case you thought I forgot, I've got homework for the third word too. Ah, nimba wiba je yoko na vie bagi oya, kuko nda fisi kindi kikogwa cha gata tunda gusabu kore. I know you are wishing that I forgot. Ah, nda zi huko kumbure wifuza yuko nda vie bagira. But I'm going to give you homework. Ari kongie ngira subira kugwi kikogwa za gukora. The passion homework I want you to do this week, it is the easiest to answer but hard to execute. Ndazi yuko ibikogwa na gusavye gukora muri yindwi biroroshe kwishura ariko biragoye gushira mu ngiro. The mission homework of the three columns. Ah igikogwa rero uhamagare gukora muri ama colonne atatu. Maybe you can do that for the next month. Kumbure urasha kubikora mu kwezi kuza. But the third homework. Ariko igikogwa cha gatatu. You will do it now but you'll also keep doing for the rest of your life. Urasha kugikora ubu ariko kandi uzoshishika rugikora mu buzima bwawe bwose. Are you ready? Uriteguye? Or are you sleeping? Cyangwa murasinziriye? Are you ready? Muriteguye. Okay. I want you to draw a simple line from the left to the right. Nshaka yuko mucapa mucu murongo ku rupapuro hagati na hagati. On the left I want you to put the number zero. This is when you were born. Hama ibubanfu wandike ko zero bisobanura igihe wavuka on the right put your current age hama kwiherezo ucushira ku imyaka ufise i don't know how old you are 15 25 35 65 sinzi imyaka ufise ni bari 15 25 ingahe and then on the top i want you to write the word stars highlights hama hejuru kuri ko rupapuro wandike ko inyenyeri These are the highlights of your life. If you visa wanura, if you have visa wa shuba yakuba mu buzima bwa. When you look back and say wow those were tremendous times of. Igihe witegereje inyuma mu buzima wabaye mu bati mbega ibiye visa nabaye mu. And the bottom hanyuma he I want you to write the word scars the lowest times of my life. What? The lowest low lights. Oh uh, hanyuma uh, hepo Uche wandika ibihe bibi naciye mu buzima nahuye navyo mu buzima These are the times where you were crushed Ni gihe wa wa shonzwe urai when you experience storms Igihe wa huye nimipfunda mu buzima bwawe It may be death of a loved one Kumbure bishobora kuba ari uko wabuza amafaranga It may be long term disease Kumbure waragwa igihe kirekire or economic deprivation Change ibibazo vy'uburyo or divorce Change kuba warahukanye or bad behavior Change ingesombi wagiza mu buzima I want you to write those down as you experience them Nshaka yuko uvyandika nuko wahuye navyo cyangwa wabibaye mu buzima Do it according to how old you were Uvyandike bihwanye nuko imyaka yawe yari imeze When you are 20 you got your first job that may be a highlight Niba akazi kawe watangwe kugaka rufisi imyaka 20 kumbure ivyo nibihe vyiza vyawe When you're 25 you were a failure Niba ku myaka 25 byarakugoye birakunanira They fired you they released you from Bara kwirukana baragukura mu kazi That will be in the bottom Ivyo birashaka kuba ari ibihe bibi waciyemo But please listen very carefully Ariko nshaka yuko unkurikira neza If you do not know how you're going to finish well whenever it happens nimba utazi neza ukuzohera hezo buzima bwawe praise god for all the good things that have happened bless be god himba zimana kugibihe vyiza vyose waciye mu buzima wahuye na vyo out of his blessing you're going to bless others ndetse numugisha imana igiye kuguheza gira but from the bottom ariko hepfo you can identify some of your contribution to his vision uche uraba icho ushobora gukora kugira ngo ugire icyo terereye kuyere kwa ryiwe where god has crushed you kubera yuko aho imana yagirika gufyo ndikagukanya shed your most amount of tears aho imana yatumye ukorora moso zia when you were most afraid of life aho ufise ubwoba bwinshi mu buzima bwa god was preparing you Imana yari ikwira gutegura God was tenderly preparing you Vyuko Imana yari ikwira gutegura for ministry Kubyigikogwisha kayukukora I have a friend Ndafisa umugenzi when 50 years ago when she was 17 years of age Hachi myaka myinshi gera afisa imyaka 15 She broke her neck Yara vunitse izosi 
immediately she lost movement and mobility for the rest of her body. She cannot comb her hair. She can't uh, do cosmetics. She cannot brush her teeth. That is the scar of her life. She cannot move. But some time ago, I was in Accra in Ghana. Some time ago, I was in Accra, Ghana. And they told me, the wheelchair lady is coming. I said, what do you mean, wheelchair lady? And they said, it is the lady who had an accident when she was 17 years of age and everything stopped. Only her. That's the biggest scar of her life. She cannot move. But God turned that into a ministry. Now she has become a voice for all disabled people in the world. And she brings wheelchairs to people all over the world. Because that's part of her contribution to the vision. I have another friend who has been in prison. He came to know Jesus in prison. Guess what? That was a scar. It will never be erased. His prison experience will never be erased. It's always a part of his life. But guess what? He has a vibrant prison ministry. Because God takes our scars and makes us more useful for him. It makes us more, more dependent on him. It makes us more compassionate on people. Because vision is to make Jesus well known. Vision is to make Jesus well known. I would like you to do this homework. All three parts of it. And bring it to your pastors. And and say, how can I serve the congregation? This is where God has crushed me. How can I contribute to the vision of God for this world? How can I make Jesus well known through my life? They will be so grateful to receive your homework. And you will soon be leaders of God's people here. Serving them, empowering them to do God's work. One of the worst days in India was a terrorist attack. Because if you come to this beautiful hotel in Mumbai, it sits on the ocean but the front of the building does not face the ocean, it is facing the city. I know you have a hotel here called Best Outlook. That hotel is the worst outlook. That's the worst view. No? Terrorists came from the back entrance and killed 160 plus people. 
ari abateroriste binjiriye inyuma muri hotel bacha bica abantu barenze jana I had the privilege of speaking there to the elite the, uh, of the world uh, of the country in, the, in that hotel narate witeka ryo kugira abantu bakomeye muri hotel right after the terrorist attack icyo gihe nyene habaye ayo mataki I talk to the general manager chamvugana nutwara yo hotel he lost his wife and his two kids in the in the terrorist attack igiha wa terroriste bateye aho hantu muri hotel uwo mu manager cyangwa wo atwara yo hotel ya umugore we nabana biyo bari barapfuye and then i asked him how come this hotel doesn't face the ocean it is facing the inside of a slum chanda mu bazani shaka yuko mbira neza kuberiki iyo hotel itaraba kuri osea ariko ikaraba hari ahirya mu gisagara it's a very luxurious unaffordable hotel but it's not facing the ocean ni hotel nini cyane ariko ntabwiraba kuri osea one of the explanations is that the plans for this hotel were sent from england when england was still ruling india Uh, inyishu imwe mu nyishu bampaye bambye ati nuko igihe bagiraga plan y'iyo hotel plan yayo yavuye mu gongereza igihe abongereza bari bakiganza and an english Jugu. builder took the architect's plans kanzi abubatsi babongereza bubatse bache bafata and built an amazing hotel bacha bubaka hotel nziza cyane as a administrative office originally Ah uh, mumuntu yaratwaye iyo hotel kera it was a beautiful administrative office yari uh, ibiro vyo byari ibiro byiza cyane he did chan. not spare any money in building this beautiful building rero ni yashaka kongera yandi mafranga mu kubaka he got the inyubaka. finest materials yara yara ronsa mafranga muha gukora uh, ibikoresho kugura ibikoresho and then he the builder wrote to the architect and said Uh, I want you to come and see our building. Hanyuma abubatse bacha basaba wa bundi ya chafye iyo hotel bamgati ingo urabe ivyo twubatse. So the architect jumped on a boat. Hama umu architect achaza mugato and he came to the edge of his building except it was dark. Acha araza ashika aho kuri hotel ahijimye. All he could see was the outline of his building in the dark. Icyo yashobora kubona ni hanze iyo hotel yiwe ariko hari umwiza ari mwijo. So he told the men on the boat can I stay overnight and see my building in the morning from the ocean. Acharavuga ati mbega murashaka kunyemerera ndabe inyubako jewe na chafye ariko ndayira bijoro ryose magaze ngaha kuri osea. So that night he could not sleep. Ijoro ryose nti yashoboye gusinzira. In the morning as the sun began to rise. Mu gitondo izuba ritanguye kuza The architect ran to the edge of the boat. Oh, wa mu architecta cha yiruka kubgato. And for a moment his mind and heart were filled with enthusiasm. Oh, muraka kanya nyene ubgeyo gwe no mutima we wuzuramo umunezero. And the next moment it dropped in shock and horror. Ariko mundi mwanya mutoya acha yumva umengo arababaye. because the building had been built backward kubera yuko yabonye yasanze yuko ya yanzu yubatswe bayubatse bayihindukije the builder had shared the architect's plans but did not share the architect's vision aba aba abubatsi bubatse inzu nkuko yashatse yuko bayubaka ariko nibayubatse nkuko bo yabonaga yuko ikwiye kuraba yari kwiye kuraba kuri yose ariko bo bayirabishije hirya and the terrorists came from the back if you have to me yuko aba terroriste binjira bacinye sister here in life center benedata bo muri life center i want you to really have a life center 
That your passion is to make Jesus your first love. Your mission is to make Jesus look great. And your vision is to make Jesus well known. Otherwise, you are building your life backwards. Unless you put the big rocks in first. It's difficult to put them in later. Would you bow in prayer please? The good thing about the Christian faith is is that the jar of your life can be spilled out and can be started again. You're saying to me, uh, Brother Ramesh, my uh, life has been all built backwards. The big rocks are not in place. A lot of small stones and sand have occupied the place of the big rock. Today, I want to spill out the jar of my life and start up again. On this Sunday of August 27, 27, I want to start up again. So my passion will be the Lord Jesus. My mission will be the Lord Jesus. And my vision will be the Lord Jesus. That he will truly be the center of my life. This morning, beginning at Life Center in Bujumbura. I want to make him my first love. I want to make him look great. I want to make him well known. I do not want many people to respond to this invitation. Because it's a very serious restructure of your life. But you're saying I want to finish my life whenever it happens. Having glorified the Father and accomplishing the work He gave me to do. So I do not want many people responding to this invitation. But I think some will want to respond to this invitation. I don't want eyes looking around, people moving around. But if you're saying, I want to spill out the jar of my life and start up again. Would, would you quietly stand wherever you are? Just quietly stand wherever you are. I'm not looking around. Pastor Mark is not looking around. Pastor Christian is not looking around. Because we can only see the outward appearance. We cannot see the heart. But if you're saying, I want to start up again. I want to stand up to restructure my life. I want to put the big rocks in first. I'll wait a moment and you stand. And I want to pray for you. Lord Jesus, I, I cannot see bodies or hearts today. But you see uh, the inside and the outside. From the shuffle of feet, I, I sense that there are some responding to a new start. I ask that you will give us a new opportunity to, to meet this inclination. And 
kandi ge chose turonsa kaje uko kwisuzuma turonke dushira uburyo ibintu byose mu rutonde to make you first love kugira ngo tugukunde wewe mbere y'ikindi kintu chose please forgive us when other idols have occupied first place in our lives turo gusavye imbabazi ige chose ari ibindi bintu ibigirwa mana vyafashe kibanza cha mbere mu muzo bwacu to make you look great kugira ngo dushobore gutuma ugaragara yuko ari wo uhambaye kurusha abandi bose and where we have stolen and diminished your glory please ah, forgive us aha no kwivye cyubahiro cyawe cyangwa tuka tukagititura utubabarire we thank you for your death which covers all our sin and our turagushimiye ukungene amaraso yawe atweze ibya byacu byose we confess our sins because you are faithful and just to forgive all our sins and cleanse us turatuye ibya byacu ko wowe urumwizi gigwa wo kuduharira no kutweza ico gyivya vyose and where there's unrighteousness in our heart cleanse us to righteousness kandi ahantu hose hariho kudatunganya no kutagoroka mu buzima bwacu bikureho to make you look great kugira ngo ugaragare mu cyubahiro cyawe and lord jesus to make you well known kandi mwami yesu bikunde yuko tukumenyesha hose help us to seize every opportunity to make you well known udushoboze kubona uturyo tukuko tukumenye kandisha especially among those who do not know you na cyane cyane kuri babandi batakuzi at work ari ku kazi at school ku mashuri at home mu hirao tuba so that the great multitude will be filled out kugira ngo amahanga ashikirwe i thank you for life center ndagushimiye kuga life center for the people and the leaders among them kugabanu nabarongozi ba i pray that they'll be so dominated by your spirit ndasenze kugira ngo baganzwe na mpemu wa that this congregation kugira ngo rino koranero will be a light rizobe umucho in the darkness mu mwiza to push it away kugira ngo rishire ku ruhande throughout the city and country and continent and beyond nami vyo vyose muri kigihugu muri muri no mugabane no mwisi protect this place uzigame kino kibanza provide for every person fasha umuntu wese mu vyo rikora cyane make each light a platform for you kugira ngo ivyo ahura navyo mwami kabakaryo kawe in the name of the lord jesus christ mwizi na yesu kristo mwami wacu the most high one uhambaye kurusha bose you may be seated mrashobora kwicara amen amen turashobora guruka twese dukomera mashima na kugijambo giza twumvise haleluya agurutse umwicaye nti turarangije ahagarare ku maguru yiwe mane baheza gire turashimira imana ku mwanya mwiza ariko kandi ndashaka gushimira umushitsi wacu uyu munsi aduhaye ijambo rikomeye ariko kandi ndashaka kubasaba ndazi ko mwavyumvise ariko nibaza ko iri jambo rirafise agaciro cyane nitwashobora gukora i devoir uko yayiduhaye nagerageje nanje kuvyandika ku kubatavyumvise neza uko bagomba kubikora ariko kandi kimwe mu bintu bizo gufasha yuko iri jambo ritaba iritakaye no gushobora gukora yo evaluation y'ubuzima bwawe bw'impwemo kugira ngo umenye aho wongereza nahugabanya nibande baheza giye uno munsi baheza giye ni jambo gyema amen haleluya rero muri indwi twiye gutangura indwi ya masengesha ko kandi igenda vyukuri i devoir huze kuyikora nanje nayanditse iyanje ndaza kuyikora ndaza kufata ibipapuro bitatu yari yatubwiye points ine yavuze statu eh zari yavuze statu okay umba ko jana rinsho hi yakate uravyumva ariko kandi ico kintu gikore kuko kenshi usanga mu buzima bwacu ngene satana twibijambo nuko atacu tuja kuri korerako ariko uyu mukozi w'imana no mwigisha mwiza kandi yadufashije gutahura a parti hivyo twize kumenya ico dukwiye gukorera ico twumvise kugira ngo turabe mise en application niki yetugiye gushira mu ngiro niki yetugiye kwihama nota meza canke mabi kugira ngo tumenye iyo dusenga uko dusenga kandi tumenye ama decision tugomba gufata bona sifuye sana 
Lero imani baheza gire kumakira nyishambu jimana Buguaneza Hallelujah Kandi mufashe tumukomera mashi tumushimira Ko adushikije kujambo Naba mutuza ni imani baheza gire Hamakani ndavuze ngo Imana irushirize kubagirira neza No kubakomeza Hamana tuke turushirize kuitabu muhamagaro ui imana kubuze mabugachu Kugirango ichambere tukigiri ichambere Ichanyuma tukigiri ichanyuma Ndamu kilizo muichanyuma ugiru ti Urumunho wa mission Imani guheza gire Hallelujah Imani waheza gire Mugire umosi wa mungu muiza Nindu inziza tugegu tangura Imani waheza gire Kandiba gire neza